All right, so today we're going to talk about the health benefits of alcohol. Now, I know this is not going to be popular, and in fact, some of you might unsubscribe, but realize I'm just the health messenger. I'm trying to give you more awareness on what to do to increase health, and if you happen to drink alcohol, there are some things to reduce the bad effects. But are you ready for the health benefits? It's a big fat zero. There are no health benefits of drinking alcohol. It turns out that any amount of alcohol can be damaging to your brain and your heart, despite what has been promoted the last 40 years, saying that alcohol will benefit your heart if you have a moderate amount. One drink for women per day and two drinks for men per day. Do you realize that there's even this concept that's floating around that states that abstinence of alcohol is a cause of heart disease? Well, in a new study, University of Oxford, 25,000 people from 2014 to 2020, they found that even small amounts, this is below moderate amounts, can have a negative effect on your brain and your heart. Now, what about all these antioxidants in the, in the wines? You know, it's from grapes. Grapes are healthy. Well, there are antioxidants for sure, but it's the alcohol that is the problem. Now, in your liver, you have something called alcohol dehydrogenase. It's an enzyme that converts the alcohol into something called acetaldehyde, which is very, very toxic to your body and your liver. In fact, it's a very highly toxic byproduct, and it causes major oxidation uh, on the liver and other organs, especially your heart. And there's a lot of free radical damage occurs uh, when you have too much acetaldehyde. Now, the only purpose of this video is not to tell you you can't drink. It's just to give you the truth about alcohol because some people are going out of their way and drinking more alcohol because they think it's going to give you a health benefit. Well, that's just purely false information. But I do want to give you some things that you can do, um, not only as a substitute to alcohol, but to reduce the damage. So if you're going to drink a small amount, there are things you can do to counter the damage. The first thing I'm going to recommend, if you haven't tried this before, it's called kombucha tea. Kombucha tea is a fermented drink. It has a very tiny bit of alcohol. It creates a nice relaxation effect. The texture of kombucha tea is very similar to... Um, beer or champagne. It's very fizzy, it's very thick, and it creates a nice relaxation effect. So you may want to try that instead of alcohol to see if you like that. There's also uh, something called kutsa root extract, and this can be taken as a supplement to help you reduce cravings for alcohol. And if you take it with L-glutamine, it seems to work pretty good. Okay, so you might want to try that. And the last thing I'm going to recommend for damage control if you're going to drink is just to take some milk thistle right before you drink. And it's a pato protective. In other words, it protects your liver cells against damage. In fact, it even protects liver cells against certain poisons. And acetaldehyde is a poison uh, from the breakdown of that enzyme I just talked about. So if you were to take some milk thistle before you drink, I think that can actually minimize the damage. Now, again, I just want to emphasize, I'm not telling you not to ever drink alcohol. I'm just, I'm just telling you, if you think you're getting health benefits, you're not. And I'm also telling you, there are things you can do to limit the damage that alcohol creates on your body. And I didn't mention this, but I think fasting is another really important thing to do. So let's say for on a weekend, let's say you drink and you were to fast the next day, that would be probably the best thing you can do to help you increase your antioxidant network and help you repair some of the damage that was created on your liver. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.